I got confused yesterday. I thought I put up a podcast, but I didn't. So now I got to do like two today. We'll do one this morning. We'll do one tonight. All fixed, right? I, man, I know I didn't because I got up very, very early. I know what the issue was. I got up before the sun came up and headed to the city. Went and picked up a bunch of materials for my new build that will begin today. Actually, today, I'm going to begin the destruction of the old build, which isn't even that old. But if you haven't watched my other channel, I am going to be converting my screened patio into a usable room. Beginning a gym, I guess. I don't know. But I am going to be tearing out the screens today. I'm going to be taking the insulation off of the ceiling. I'm going to be reworking that. I think I've decided to make it similar to what I've done out in. Why are my glasses so damn dirty? <sighs> well, not. <sighs> I can't see now. Doesn't matter. I don't need to see. It's a podcast. There's nothing to read. Where was I? It's too early. I don't know. What was I talking about? Something about build. Yeah, I think I'm going to build the ceiling in there similar to the shop. I don't know if I want to use pegboard like I did there. I might. I might be in that there is no... All that's up there for the roof. If, if you've seen my original build, I started with the screen patio below. Okay, there was an existing foundation that had an old laundry room. So I started there. I built the screen patio. Then I built the dog apartment. Then I built an upper deck above that. Well, to have an upper deck, you have to have a bit of a roof over the screen patio, which is metal roofing. But there's no plywood or anything down. There's no going back now. If I wanted to do that, I would have to yank every deck board off of that deck, and I ain't about to do that. That was not a fun task for me, especially at the time. I was very overweight and not very limber, and it took me days to get that deck laid. And the boards had sat all summer long out in excessive heat. It was a very hot summer. And they were all warped, and yeah, they were terrible. They were absolutely terrible to lay. But I got it done. But it's just the metal roofing. It does not, it has one spot that has a very, very tiny pinhole leak. I'm not going to worry about it. There's nothing, every, all the wood out there is treated. So nothing could get damaged. Not by that little amount of water. But I'm going to pull the insulation off. I'm going to pull all the screens off. I'm going to start reframing. I'm adding four windows. Yep. If you've seen the video, I only bought two windows. Well, I'm going to go back tomorrow morning again, bright and early, and buy the other two. Because I think four is going to look so much better. And, uh, you know, it's a little extra money, but it's worth it. Why, why, why go back and revisit working on that again when I can get it all done at once? And I'll get a better job done that way. Uh, but it's going to look awesome with real windows in there. And the windows open up, so you can still have a screened-in patio. Uh, I did encounter an issue. I bought a steel door. It cannot go where the current door is because it will hit the ceiling because the ceiling slopes down. So my answer is to build uh, what do you call it? an entryway. I'm just going to come out a little bit where I can make the door as tall and wide as I want. However, there is a sidewalk there, and it is not as wide. So I'm going to have to add a little concrete to it. No problem. I'll pick that up tomorrow, too. Watch. It'll rain tomorrow. It hasn't rained since July. So I go to get lumber yesterday and materials, and it's pouring rain on my way there. And I'm, I'm like, this, I, this better stop. 
but we need it bad, bad. But it didn't rain not even close enough to help matters. But we do have rain coming in the forecast. So if you've never watched one of my builds, if you didn't watch the original, you know, that, that screen patio has been out there about two years now, a little over two years. I don't use it, you know. I don't go out there and sit and, you know, when I'm, I wake up in the morning, I have my coffee. I'm usually doing computer stuff. Uh, but I've had some flooding issues out there. I'm, I'm getting them corrected. I'm going to do more for that. I'm going to be adding another French drain. I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing a lot. It is not. When I am done, this thing's going to be water tight. It was never, this house, this entire property was not leveled out correctly in 1980 when it was built the whole property is on a hill it starts at the highway out front and the whole property goes uphill then it peaks and then in the back of the property it goes downhill it goes downhill from side to side so i'm basically on a top of a mountain if you could call it that but it was never, I think everything was done by hand. The guy did it when he was probably 20 years old. Did a good job on the, you know, I would have never bought this property if the, the guts of the property was not solid. And he did a good job on that. He did stop by here a couple of years ago before he passed away. And he was telling me that, you know, he could have done a better job. I said, dude, for the age you were, you did a good job on the structure. It's the stairs that you built. He says, yeah, those, those were terrible. I ripped those out, built new stairs, and they are still steep. They have to be because it's a small house, and I didn't want them out to the front yard, you know, to make them more comfortable, but they are usable now a lot more than they were. So I'm going to be adding four, door, four windows and uh, a steel door. I'm walling off the whole one side. It's not going to have any windows. And we're going to redo the ceiling. And we're going to make it nice. And everything comes out today except for the big weight machine. It, it's not in my way. But everything else is coming out of there. And I'm going to start on it this morning. Today will be the teardown phase. And if I can get some T111 put up, that is the out, outer skin. That's going on the walls, exterior walls. I will throw that up. And I, I really would like to get that up because I don't really want all that. It doesn't hurt it to be exposed. There's not nothing that's going to hurt anything in there. I mean, it was built to be an outdoor type room, but I'm going to convert it to an indoor type room. So you're going to want to watch the other channel this week. It is the last week of Dogtober. We're not doing so hot with the revenue it's gonna be all right it's it right now it's matching last year's we might go a little past that but for the growth of my channel it's pathetic there should be a lot more views they're just not it, there's never gonna be you know both these channels are shadow banned youtube's not gonna tell me any different that's the main reason for starting the new one which is still confusing people they're like, we're going to miss your channels. We're going to miss your podcast. They're not going nowhere. Still going to have the other channels. I'm just adding a third one because I'm a glutton for punishment. The new one will have a video once a week featuring your pets getting the artwork done on the laser machines. I'm not, I've got some good ideas on how to edit this thing. It's not going to be like anything I do going to be different but it's a once a week thing it has to be there's going to be a lot of editing there's going to be a lot of work involved and i'm not ready to do that right now it's probably going to be december january because i'm not making this channel live until i've got four or five videos up and if you guys see the name of it and search for it and subscribe you're wasting your time because youtube will just take that away it doesn't count because there's no, it may stay, but they're eventually going to take it. They've already, I already know this because I subscribed with my other channels and they already took them away because there's no content. So they look at it as spamming. 
uh, I don't know what they look at it as, but they will take it away. So don't bother subscribe. Wait till I post the link and tell you the channel is ready. Then you can go look and subscribe. And maybe, just maybe, and they like to mess with new channels. So I'm going to get 100 subscribers. They're going to take 30 away. That's how they roll. I don't know why they do that. They can't leave enough well alone. They just can't. Uh, I know I complain about YouTube all the time, but it's, they do a lot of things that, and I think the biggest problem is they let the computers run it. You know, the al algorithm runs everything and decides things and it ain't humans. There's actually a spot on there where I can go and look and see who did the checks on my videos. Was it a computer or was it a human once in a while? A human will do the checks, and it seems when they do the checks, the videos do better. I don't understand it. It's just weird. So tune in today. I'm going to make this one short today. We're going to start tearing that room apart, begin on the framing, and I've got concrete work. i got to pick up concrete uh, to Monday, tomorrow, and fill in them two little spots. If you watch that channel, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to have to add some concrete to make a, wi a wider doorway. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be setting lumber in the dirt, and I can't do that. And that, that area is prone to getting water, so it has to be done right. But the way it, the current door is, it, it will not go there. It's, it'll be like the dog apartment door where it barely clears, and I don't like that. So the temperatures are great. I can take my time with this. And make it look really good and make sure it's a quality build. So be sure to be over there. I'll have a video up tonight. I'm going to try to work as long as I can today. But like I said, today's the teardown. We'll try to get some T111 put up. And may maybe get an idea uh, what it looks like. But if you ain't sure, go look at the video I put up last night. I, sh I actually put the windows up. I mock them up where you can kind of see what's going on. So it ought to be a fun build. It's going to be the rest of the week. It will take us out of Dogtober, and I hope it gets views. So if you got time, jump on over there and check it out. Happy trails.